Hi guys, this is Jack from Guitar Elevation. This channel which is all about elevating your guitar playing. So in this lesson, we're going to see how we're going to incorporate some legato technique into our acoustic playing. So if that's what you want to do, stick around, it's going to be amazing. And I advise you to stay till the end because I'm gonna give you ways on how to practice that. Okay, so here we go. Usually when we talk about legato, we talk about uh, electric guitar playing and lead guitar playing, something like But it's kind of the same thing, but it's different here. Uh, as you know, in acoustic guitar, we do lots of hammer-on and pull-offs, and that's what legato is all about. The number one thing we need to pay attention to is to articulate once and then hammer-on and pull-off, but still make the string ring, you know, so... Something like that, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so here we go, I'm gonna teach you uh, this small segment that I wrote for you. So it goes like this, it's E minor, the first chord. The second chord is C add 9. It's just a C chord, but we're adding the D note on top. Then we have the G chord, of course you know that, and then we have D. Okay, cool, really easy stuff. Cool chord progression, but as you know, we might not need all the notes of the chord. So this is why you need to look at the tabs, and by the way, you can download it for free as a visual support. So we're starting with a pickup bar. A pickup bar is just like a pickup line when you meet somebody. <laughs> but here we're just starting the piece with a small pickup bar, and then uh, going into the real cycle of the song. So it goes like this, kind of like a, a little bit Celtic here. It's all pull-offs, and then... So the first grouping is really fast, and then I back off a little bit on the speed. All right, and here I start the arpeggiation of the chords. So that's the E minor chord. What I'm doing here, as you noticed, I, I'm playing the bass note as a eighth note. If you're not familiar with standard notation or rhythmic notation, just think that you need to sustain this note, you need to stay on this note a little bit longer than the others. So I also uh, stay on the B note a little bit more. So on the E bass and then the, the high E, the high B, sorry. So. Great, and now we're gonna play the C at nine chord. And we're kind of building it up. So I only start with the bass, and then I build it, build it up using the hammer-on and pull-offs. I only play once on the G string and once on the B string and the rest is all hammer-on pull-offs. So you gotta practice those a little bit. Okay, and then I go to the G chord. They're all pull-offs here. Except for the last one which is the hammer-on. And then the D chord. And I finish that with a cool bluesy lick. All right. So if you notice, all the basses are eighth notes on which I need to stay a little bit longer, like I said, except for the C chord. I'm gonna play it all one more time. That sounds so cool. Guys, I could have like sold it for some top 40 artist I've made a lot of money <laughs> because I like you so much. I'm just giving it to you for free. If you end up using it or getting inspired by it, don't forget to mention me, you know? Like a couple of years down the line, maybe you're going to become a well-known artist. Just mention me, that would be cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play it one more time.
So my last tip for you, in order for you to be able to work on those legato uh, chops and be able to incorporate them in any uh, key and any chord whatsoever. So if these legato chops are not strong enough, I promise you this will work. Take one minute of your time, set the timer, and all you have to do is just play the note, articulate, and pull off. Play the note, and pull off. Play the note, and pull off. And try to do that with all the fingers, like the, the first finger, the second finger, the third finger, and even the pinky, if you need it. And if it works, Step number two is to actually hammer on and then pull off. Even with the pinky, all right? But you gotta make sure not to ring all the other notes at the same time. So that's it. I promise you, if you put a timer for one minute and you repeat it two or three times, these chops will start sounding good. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. Don't forget to subscribe because a lot more content like that is coming your way. And guess what? Since you're here and you're probably planning on sticking around a little bit more on YouTube, I chose a really cool lesson for you and you can check it here. I promise you it's a good one and I've prepared it just for you. So go check it out and I'll see you on the other side in the next video. Take care, practice well.